Today on the show, we are talking wellness with Shayla Porter from StemFix. And I'm going to show you how to save money with something the new car dealers do not want you to hear. Mm, all this on Talk 365 right now. Welcome to the show. I'm Holly Love. And I'm Trip Mitchell. And thank you for being here. Uh, I'm enjoying it. How are you? I'm good. And you know what? We've got some great things to talk about. Yes, we do. But you are trying it in today's show. We might learn something that will save me from having my leg taken off. You know that this is no mistake about today's show, right? Because well, that segment was completely targeted at you. So here is my situation. I have been playing hockey for 50 years. Not particularly well. I've been skiing for 50 plus years. Mm -hmm. And I need a knee replacement. And a couple years ago, I was going to do it. And Larry Soul, our good buddy, he has a TV station up in Logan. And he sent me a video of a knee replacement. And it, the, sur the video starts out great. They put the person under. Then the part where it goes poorly is when they take your leg off. How did you think they did it? I you didn't want to know. Never I, thought about I it. I want to think about it like sausage or making laws at the legislature. Two things oh, you don't want to see. I was going to say like childbirth for me. You just oh, the less you know. I have seen a childbirth, uh, and it, uh, it's probably why you don't have kids. Ex that and everything <laughs> else. <laughs> but uh -huh. literally, they come in and they have a chisel and a hacksaw and hammers and. Yep. They take your leg off. So yeah. we're going to meet a lovely lady a little later on in the show who's going to Who show we all have a crush on, let's be honest. We love Shayla. Everyone's crushing on her for all kinds of different reasons, but mainly because she's smart and so beautiful and has amazing stuff with stem cells, which well, we love. When you say mainly, you t you can only use one out of like three oh, great things. Oh, I'm sorry. Things. I make three great things because they're all equal, all on the same level of love. You just can't not love her. Okay, I have something for you. What's Are you that? ready for this? Okay, so Tripp and I have been friends for forever. I came back from LA, we started Talk Utah co-host, just a little quick backstory. And I've known his little likes and fetishes and weird things that this guy does. He's basically Larry David at the end of the day. If you're wondering like, wow, he bugs me, I wanna punch him, but he's funny. That's cause he's Larry David. And, and once and the you figure part, that out, you, you love the guy. No one in Utah watches the Larry David show because- <laughs> They love Seinfeld, everyone loves Seinfeld. Everyone loves Seinfeld, but they don't watch the Larry David show. So the Holly will make- enthusiasm, I she know. Will make this analogy and no one has yet to get it. It's crickets, but they'll look it up and at the end of the day they'll 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 love you more, which they always do. But you have this thing that you do recently. And this is like your Christmas, birthday, New Year's, all of the presents wrapped into one, maybe Valentine's Day, um, that I got for you. It jumped out and attacked me. I couldn't not do it. Now, first of all, Cake, let's say you get a bunt cake. That is more of a cinnamon cake, which is for breakfast. <laughs> now, if you eat, let's say, cupcakes. Uh -huh. So what I do is I get up in the morning and it takes a couple yes. minutes for the coffee to go. Tell the so you're ritual. Standing, you're standing in the kitchen and you've got cupcakes, you've got a bunt cake, you've got maybe some leftover cake. Now here because is- Because everyone that's normal has cupcakes, a cake, and a bunt cake in their kitchen at any given time to well, choose from at breakfast time. <laughs> the, the fact that I didn't finish it the night before. Now, here is one of my the weird- The fact that you're not obese is beyond me. It's all the hockey you do. Well, here is how you save money. And if you're watching the show earlier in the week, I had some great tips on saving money. But Buy food that's old. I go to Smith's and we've got mm -hmm. a new Smith's up by the house that's mm -hmm. 100,000 square feet. But it's amazing. We love all new other Smith's. Smith's, if you go to the back of the store, they have bakery items that are a couple days old. Mm -hmm. Because of the preservatives they put in, you can buy a cake for two to four dollars, a $16 cake from Smith's if they have them. Uh huh. You can buy croissants for a $1.50. Wow. This is a, and it perfectly good stuff. Now, if bread starts to turn colors that we only see in Green hair and, and makeup. Red. That's bad, but these cakes. That's this stuff, another thing. You have more bread 
just around in general, like 16 loaves of bread. I think where you don't save money is you're a sucker for a deal. So you find that yellow sticker that's like screaming at you and it's like a dollar fifty, but we have 75 loaves of bread floating around. Okay, admittedly, that's a that's an area, but I, I never pay more in the dollar for anything. It's so. true. It's true. Okay, but anyway, Merry Christmas, Happy Thank New you Year, so much. Happy Birthday. Um, I saw that at TJ Maxx, by but the way, went, because I love TJ Maxx. I didn't spend cupcakes. a lot of money, but You brought it was in perfect. cupcakes this morning. Six cupcakes for $5. I did. They Do were the delicious. Do the math. That's about 80 cents a cupcake. That's how much I love you. Full price, fresh cupcakes for when you, Mr. Mitchell. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to save a lot of money on one of the biggest purchases you make. Your All new right, car. Don't go anywhere.